Hello, so we're back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. I mean, like usual, you know, you expect something else than Nitro 5. But this one, i7 and RTS graphics. And yeah, someone used a longer screw here. But all good. The problem is not coming on that. Let's see the customer email. So the customer is saying Acer Nitro 5. Gaming laptop not turning on at all. Even when plugged in, charger has been checked. Have been told that it's a fault on the motherboard. So uh, can you help this customer? Okay, let's open the laptop and see what we have inside, yeah? We are not plugging the power. Most likely a shorted uh, main power rail. Yeah. And the laptop, it's open. Okay, the battery is unplugged. Good, so let's check first the main power rail, right? Yeah. So where we are checking the main power rail? This is a new version of the motherboard. So you have first MOSFET, but the second MOSFET is under this. So you can check the main power on the plus of this capacitor or probably on those uh, or these uh, inductors. So on the inductors, compare with ground, nothing. On the plus, nothing. Lol, it's not shorted. Wait, no, it's not shorted. The main power is not shorted. The gaming laptop not turning on at all, even when the charger plugged in. Nitro 5 with main power, which is not shorted. This must be new. Okay. Let's check the main power rail on a different point, just to be sure, because it's kind of unbelievable. No short. No short. Here, main power rail, no short. Crazy! Let's plug the charger. That's actually very good. Very, very good. So plug in the charger. Power supply clicked. Ah, uh, power supply is clicking. I don't have enough current or what? Yeah, I like 2 amps. Let's raise the current. 4.6 amps. Let's see now. Power supply clicked. Well, I can't see. <laughs> okay, let's do something else, yeah? We plug the charger. Let's check the main power rail. Uh, I don't think it's shorted. I don't think. But let's be sure. Main power rail, 3 volts. 4 volts. Huh? On the capacitors, the main power rail, 3 volts, 4 volts. Where we checked here, main power rail, 3 volts, 4 volts. Where we check here, main power rail, 3 volts, nearly 4 volts, right? Four volts. Okay. So the main power rail is missing. Now, why the main power rail is missing? Anyone knows? Now, you remember we had so many faults with the main power rail about three volts, four volts, but they were all with the charger ID pin, but here we don't have a charger ID pin. So uh, the power management chip BQ chip is not doing the job, or the MOSFETs is something wrong with the MOSFETs. So I will say, I will say, let's use the hardware way, yeah? We can go totally maverick and, uh, you know, go on our way. So I will come with the power supply with the ground here and the plus here. On the main power rail. And it's not short, it's taking like 10 milliamps. It's not short. <laughs> so basically, we don't have voltage, not because we have like a low resistance on the main power rail. We don't have voltage because the input circuit is not doing the job. So, in order for the, the you know what, let's check the first MOSFET and the second MOSFET. So the first MOSFET is not shorted. Huh? The second MOSFET, we can check the second MOSFET from here to the main power rail. It's not shorted. Gate with uh, source, no shorted. 
The bee kitchen. Where is the bee kitchen? Where is the little prick? Can you see it? Somewhere? Should be here around the battery, near to the battery, but it's not. So I'm assuming the BQ chip is on the other side of the board somewhere here. Yeah, probably. So I will say, yeah, that's what I will say. I will say, let's take the motherboard out because we have to reach the, the power management chip, the BQ chip. That's, that's a must. But still, this laptop has to work on, uh, on the battery. So let's plug the battery. What did you say? The battery is not charged. Ha ha. Let's plug the charger. Let's lower the current. We know it's working. It's charging the battery. That's crazy. All we did, we plug the battery. We plug the battery, yeah. How? Oh, let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail is 18.8. What is the problem? Why the power management chip is working now, but didn't work before? Huh? Anyone knows? Uh, I don't think it's fully working. 18.9, 18.9, 18.9. So I can tell you the fault precisely. So precisely, I can tell you that component is burned on this laptop. Huh? Who knows? Who knows what is the problem? But you know what? Yeah, the laptop should work now, right? Yeah, it should work. So pressing the power button. Pressing the power button is not working. That's crazy. Why? Why? Because this has nothing to do with this fault, and I know what fault it is. It's that diode which is supplying power to the BQ chip from the, from the charger. That diode is burned. Uh, it's a double diode, so one diode is supplying power to the BQ chip from the battery, and one diode is supplying power to the BQ chip here from the input, from the charging port. And that diode is burned. That's the reason why I plug the battery and suddenly the BQ chip start working fine. But it's not coming on and that's a different fault. You said EC chip? Our EC chip has voltage. That's a very good question. Yeah, we have like 3.2 load. So why is it not coming on? Why is not coming on? Yeah, and we have power on the keyboard. Because the power button is not working, said someone. Hmm? Do you think? Let's see. Let's see. The power button. 3.2, pressing the power button is going to zero. Lol. So actually the keyboard and the power button is fine. And basically, based on the fact it's taking like 1.1 amp, probably the battery is fully charged, right? So the battery voltage is 16.8. Yeah, it is fully charged. So the laptop should come on and work fine. The EC chip has voltage. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Oh, uh, that sucks. That proper sucks. Okay, let's check the quails quickly. So checking the quails. This one is fine. This one. Zero ohms. <laughs> we have zero ohms on the quail. You know what quail it is? Let's see. Oh, lol. 90 here. Zero. Huh? Wait, this is not the chipset power supply? No, it's not the GPU. The GPU power supplies are here. What power supply is that? This one. 
which has zero ohms. So, so this this one is the chipset one, right? It's not the chipset one. No. I still think this one is from the chipset. This one. But the chipset looks good. Yeah, the chipset looks good. So what's going on here? From where is that power supply? Hmm? But have in mind, this laptop has two folds, yeah? Uh, I'll lower the voltage. Yeah, like, yeah, 0 0.7. We have ground, we have. Let me grab the thermal camera because we have to find out uh, what is shorted there. I can only hope to not be the chipset. I can only hope. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's taking like 3.8 amps. Let's see. Wait, what? What is that? It's not a chipset yet. The chipset is fine. Capacitors? Those ca output cap shorted out output capacitor. When did you see on this channel shorted output capacitor? When? Huh? Never. Never ever on this channel was an output capacitor, a shorted output capacitor. Never. I mean this is the first time. When I'm dealing with an output capacitor, a shorted one. So basically, one of those capacitors is gone, right? Yeah. Let's come with alcohol. But this is unique. I swear it's unique. Alcohol there. And let's come with the power supply. We have ground and we have plus here. Check there, it's that little prick, check there, the first one. Yeah, the first one is gone. I mean, check how many capacitors do we have here, yeah? So this is the output, yeah, in parallel mode. You have one capacitor, you have second capacitor, and here you have three more. You can see all they are in a parallel mode. I can't believe. Output capacitor. When I'm saying output capacitor, this capacitor is working a very low voltage. Perfect. We remove the capacitor. Let's cool the, the area. Replacing the capacitor? What do you mean? There are like four more capacitors. Short a double capacitor. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, all good. Let's check now for short. Do we still have short there? So ground in here, we have nothing. Check that, nothing. I mean, it's infinite resistance. Now let's plug the battery. Plug in the battery. Pressing the power button. Check here, the laptop start. That's crazy. Don't tell me we have picture. Huh? Give me picture. Come on. What voltage is there? I will tell you. I will tell you what voltage is there. I will tell you. Five volts. Lol. Five volts power rail. Power supply. Come on, picture, picture. I want picture. The laptop turned off, and that's good. And now the laptop turned on. That's very good. We have picture. No bootable device. What do you mean that the, the hard drive is inside? Why you say no bootable device? 
Do you think actually the customer wiped the hard drive? Oh, yeah, chipset is getting hot, but that's okay. That's normal. Let me plug the charger. So if we plug the charger now, it's working. Wait, not 0 0.7. Yeah, like 20 volts, plug in the charger. Nah, I don't have enough current. Yeah, the power supply is... Uh, I can see the, the current. Uh, yeah, let me raise the current a little bit. Yeah, 4.6. Now it's fine. Yeah, it's taking 4.2 amps. So now actually it's working. So if I unplug the battery, plug in the charger, it's taking 10 milliamps. Uh, and the main power rail, the main power rail is present, lol. I was wrong. I was wrong. So basically because of that five volts, uh, um, that five volts power supply, we didn't have the the, power, the main power rail. <laughs> How I could be so wrong? I mean, what has to do? Yeah, let's say you are fixing laptops, you know about what I'm talking. What has to do the five volts power supply with the BQ power management chip? Huh? Nothing. What I believe happened, I believe that power supply was meant to be on when the laptop is off. But let's check that. Yeah, let's check that. Yeah. So you see the 5 volts power supply, it is on when the laptop is off. That means the 5 volts uh, is monitorized by the EC chip, and the EC chip obviously is speaking with the BQ chip. So that's the reason why we didn't have power here. After the the first two MOSFETs. Okay, all good. Yeah, apart from the SSD. So what I will do, I'll unplug the SSD. I know people go scared for unplugging and plugging the SSD, but here is no voltage, yeah? So if the laptop itself is no voltage there. So I'm gonna plug another SSD. Uh, let's see if it's booting and working. Perfect. Now pressing the power button. Yeah, the charger got disconnected. Yeah, I can see the power supply is get. Oh, oh, it's loading the windows. It's loading the windows. I can't believe. So actually, the customer wiped the hard drive, or the hard drive is faulty. Yeah. And it's loading the windows. Yeah, it's taking no power because I have no power. The laptop wants more than 5 amps. So I can unplug and plug back. And yeah, at some point it will get disconnected again. Yeah, the customer SSD actually it is good. But I'm assuming he wiped the, he wiped the drive. It is detected. Um... On this one, in order to install the Windows, it's 11 Gen CPU. You have to you have to have a driver for the SSD. I will ask the customer if he wants Windows or not. But anyway, the laptop it is fixed. I'm gonna stop here. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.